Hey, what's up guys? Um, just wanted to document this really quickly because I kind of fucked up on my uh, beginner's tutorial when it comes to this because the trick was kind of new to me. And uh, also, I'm not really sure it's documented anywhere else, so I, I figured it just might, might as well be useful. So for bomb time stop, the visual cue they're actually looking for is the little white plume of smoke. It's a little harder to see, but that's what actually determines um, the frame that you want. It's the frame right after that disappears. And the reason I got confused is because the orange texture that goes along with that, sometimes it disappears together with the white plume and sometimes it doesn't. And I'm not really sure what, what determines that to be the case, but let me just demonstrate this for you. So, right here you see that there's a bunch of textures still. So right here, there's just the orange and the white, right? They're kind of together, they're up top. And usually when they're closer together like that, they'll disappear together. And so like that, right? Now there's nothing there. Neither of those textures are there and you just see the, the black particles at the top, you know that this is the right frame, right? Um, that In contrast to that, you have situations where the white plume of smoke is the only thing on the screen. So right there, for example, notice how all the orange textures disappeared at once, and now all you have left is that little white texture right on top of Link's head, right? So you still gotta pass a frame here. That's the correct frame right there, because that little white thing disappeared. Uh, don't worry, by the way, about uh, the colors on Link, like the damage color on Link, because that's going to pass no matter uh, if visual frames update or not. So uh, don't worry about that. Just look at the white plume of smoke, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>